Erebus Motorsports Brody Kostetsky. The polar position for Repco Bathurst 1000. Folded with an early main difference in the firing round with an almost half a second difference. The leader of the Repco Supercars Championship was wages until 204.2719. The fastest Gene 3 Tour around Panorama Mountain and 0.4830 s faster than Brock Feeney's top 10 firing efforts. Tickford Racing's Cameron Waters was fastest of Ford drivers and put 6 Mustang on the 0.0226 s of Feeney. And Premier Racing's James Golding 31 Nulon Camaro was 4th. The rest of the first 10 is Pasqual Shane Van Gisbergen, David Reynolds, Matt Payne, Chaz Mostert, and Will Davison. Kostecki had one temporary pole in the afternoon. And therefore, target is 2047549, whose target was determined by four cars Feeney. The dirt from the corner of hell touched and loosened a little. But only 0.0339s were slower to the first sector. The Western Australian then hit the top 32, 7,879 and 40, 4,576 in the last sector to dominate with a relatively heavy difference with session criteria. Previously, Payne, which was temporarily 8th, has strongly determined 205.2696s, which looks strongly impressive. However, Van Gisbergen defeated 204.9971s more than a second when he watched the 204.9971s. Almost tenth of the elimination time. Van Gisbergen's 3-8 racing engineering team Feeney came after two cars and turned 88 Camaro to 204.7549. The waters were then invaded in Sector 2. And the Kyre in McPhillamy Park touched McPhillamy Park before leaving Forrest's elbow or getting too close to doing it. This put the Bathurst 1000 polar receiver on Feeney twice, but through the control line 0.0226s slower. Golding won fourth from a temporary second second on grill with 204.8155s. And Pasquale 204.9156 sets between third to fifth. Thus, Van Gisbergen claimed that he was sixth. Payne seventh and Reynolds ended in the eighth 205.1512 with four all Grove race. Mostert remained ninth with 205.8309. And Davison won tenth in the 206.4174s after a loose moment when he came out of corner of hell. Davison entered first corner of the runway, which he initially attributed to ongoing braking problems.